Hey, are you printing something? In today's video, we 3D print something. Dudebot drinks all the coffee, and we figure out what this little thing is called. Oh, I broke it. Still gonna leave it in there. Um, so here we go with Blender. Have a square. Dimensions included in the description. You're gonna add four circles to the square. Real basic here, everything's flat, 2D. So now you're gonna grab it, and we'll go ahead and make sure everything's exactly where we want it in square. After that, we'll add some depth, and then we'll extend everything, oversize it a little bit, and then go ahead and remove those cylinders. And now we're going to add a little bit more fill, and then we'll go ahead and cut out the middle right here by adding another square and rotating it, and then just, you know, basically copy and pasting that and using that for our corners to cut them off and make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and we'll go ahead and extend all that and then delete all of that and then we're going to be left with our final product which we will export and then Dubot will tell you the rest. We have the Blender file here. Uh, let's export that to a STL file uh, which can go to the second step. So now we need to open the file we just saved uh, from Blender, the STL file and we need to slice it. So here we go, here's the holder STL file. And I already have the old default slicing uh, settings for my Ender 3. Uh, I think the new version of Cura has pretty good default settings, so go ahead and slice this. And this will create a file that I can upload directly to the printer. And then the last step is we can drag and drop the G code file into here. And we can start printing. It's just that simple. Uh, I've again I've already connected the printer. I've already set it up here. There's some there's configuration tools. There's online materials if uh, you want to get that set up for uh, your printer. Now we're ready to print. So today we cook food. Food. It's food time. It's food time with Dubot. Food time with Dubot. The guys from Top Gear the other day did a Lego build challenge. Mm -hmm. while drinking not vodka. <laughs> they called it not vodka? Yeah, it had a label on the bottle that said not, definitely not vodka. Oh, dude, you're getting good. That is Ooh. not how I cut you. Oh my goodness, you're scaring me. All right. But, you know, that's what I do for the likes. Please don't cut yourself, but in all honesty, I did watch a YouTube video on how to cut things. And it was, was life-changing. Go like that. Thank you. Just, just maybe, I'm not telling you what to do, but it'd be, it makes cutting things a lot more fun when you know how to do it properly. There you go, it's all, it's proper cut. Not saying you're doing it not properly. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you don't laugh when you're putting a band-aid on the side of your finger. Oh, I'll be laughing. Let's turn that action right here. Oh, just swish. Yeah, it just goes through the hole. That's that's what this hole is used for. Yeah, it goes, goes through the hole. <laughs> All right. All right. Now the. Mmm, 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 mm. not too much. You don't want too much protein. I don't know, man. I like protein. They say you're supposed to eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight per so, day. So That's what they say. So you have to have like, I don't know, like 600 grams. Something like that, depending on who you are. 
Actually, I just put it in as is, I think. Dude. What did I do? Yeah, yeah that's great. Those, those are both size already. They're perfect. <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> Sheila. Oh, we lost adhesion. Oh, this is not good, people. This is not what you want to see. So now this automatic rice cooker will automatically cook the rice, chicken, jalapeno, oh, carrot yeah. mix. Yeah, oh wait, did you season it? We haven't seasoned it yet. Oh. What, are you, what, are you, what are you? This is almost it. Some paprika. What the the, the good stuff is this? Get some good old soy sauce. Let's start with that. Just just get some. Let's get your sodium in there. You're good. But, and uh, what else? 37% less sodium. Is this fake? Uh, doesn't matter. This guy's got some MSG. Don't worry about it. No, I need one of these. Oh, some chicken bouillon. Mm. Mm. Some chicken bouillon. This might be a little excessive. I mean, it's gonna be pretty salty, but that's fine. It's gonna be good. This is a bachelor meal. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Salt. Salt. We got salt from the soy. Sauce. Like this. Unless you want to have some garlic salt in here. Oh, garlic salt for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mmm. Right. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Let's, let's get some more in there. I like that smell. Good old garlic. All right. Uh, I don't remember what. I love thyme. I don't think it mixes, but I'm gonna put it in here. So do what you need. All right. Um. I think like rosemary is the last thing I had in there. I'm just gonna do a little bit. Get a little color, I guess. Should we put a? Uh, should we put adrenophil in there? It would make it taste like. Kind of garbage. Adrenophil rice Adrenophil? chicken meal. Could. Nope. Could. No, I'm not. It's not dead. Not today. Not today. I've done it before. I would. I brought. <laughs> that was like a, a meal prep for work. All right. There we go. All right. So now we put the lid on it and let it steam up. And in 10 15 minutes, it's going to be done. Mm hmm. Gonna eat good today, people. Tell, come on, tell us what you had to do. Right. What do you have to do halfway through the right. Well, you don't have to, but it doesn't start boiling. I just want to make sure it gets, keeps on moving. So, um, with these type of Japanese rice cookers, one of the things that they're actually designed to do is burn the bottom just a little bit. And I, I guess it's like a cultural thing. Like, they like that. It's just like almost like a cookie or something. Um, I don't know, but I don't like it. So, I just stir it a little bit. Very good. There you go. There you go. So now it's a, it's, it's, it's done. a done deal. It's a done deal. Just give them a little stir up. Mix that uh that burnt rice. Oh, it smells real good. It does actually smell good. And uh, oh, you can get the in the picture of the the burnt rice on the bottom, like how it does that. Let's see if this will focus. Probably not enough light, but yeah, it does burn it a little bit. Good. That's just how it works. And it's, it's it's literally literally a feature. Of these season, but like some like live veggies or something. Some garnish. Yeah, I don't know. You don't need no garnish. Okay. No problem. That's one. Let's get one of the video light. <laughs> Not necessary. Yeah. You got a microwave light right here. I don't need it. I need the yellow light. Oh, oh. That's not gonna focus. What would you call this? It's called. Good food for quick, and it tastes good food. Quick, good food, cheap, yes. A few moments later. All done. We did it. So do you think I, do you think I can pick it up with my bare hands? Yeah, just stuck? go ahead and try it. Okay. Just pick it up. All right. Oh, we got it. Woo. All right. Wow. It's, it is all done. That is, uh, that is something else right there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So that's going to definitely work. Good work. Yeah. So this is where we were at last time. We just made this. Dude bought in his pro soldering skills. Oh, perfect. And then all you need to do now is just one hole, two hole, three hole, four holes. And it just fits right in. Just like that. Just like that. And then just a little bit of compression and there you go. And then uh, let's put the light bulbs in. If you're following along at home, you definitely, if you're making this, should know how to screw in a light bulb by now. Yeah. If you need help, I can get you some resources. I'll leave it in the comments below. And then, last step. Plug it in the smart wall plug. And 
Alexa, bed light on. So now it's working, you can mount that? Yep, anything that has an overhang. Uh, I'll, I'll see if I can get a new model that has screw holes here as well. Um, and then later on we might make this into a fully enclosed box where the mounts are inside a second piece and these screw on to it and mount together. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's basically done at this point. So there it is. That's a DIY. DIY light bulb sunlight waking up machine. We're artificial sun. DIY artificial sun. Yeah. Alexa, bed light off. Yeah. Wow, I'm so awake so quickly. If you want to know how to make this, check out part one. Cool.